So this is kind of an additional part to the video that has been already recorded about um, uh, anger and the power of anger and how it can uh, disturb our auric field. So in this video, I'm going to talk about, um, and maybe maybe this video will be uploaded for, the extended version will be uploaded for the members uh, and the short version will be available uh, on the public YouTube channel, Jiran Mukti. So now the most important point that I actually didn't mention in the past video was that how anger becomes a manipulative tool. So oftentimes what I've realized in my own experience and here I'm sharing it, when you direct anger at someone, other people will experience it as guilt and shame. And very often when uh, someone with a stronger will is exercising this manipulative tactic, uh, again, when I use man the word manipulative, it's not just psychological manipulation, it's basically an energetic manipulation. That's where anger becomes a dangerous power and an occult power in many ways because uh, it is not directly known by most of the people as a manipulative tool, you do feel sometimes that you're you're psychically attack, attacked. But how do you feel that actually, especially if you're in a close connection with someone, when you experience anger, anger may trigger detachment. Anger may trigger uh, feelings of guilt and shame in the victim, but in you it will trigger detachment and the feeling of righteousness. And you see our entire spirituality of the past 6,000 years or so has been focused on this sort of ideas of I'm right, you're wrong, you're guilty, I'm shaming you. And so these are ancestral patterns, the ideological belief system patterns that we are to refine from our system and if we do not understand that and how these energies uh, create a manipulative effect on our own body and well-being on our own mind we will forever be ignorant we will just think that oh it's i am feeling guilt i am feeling shame usually uh, what happens in terms of occult sciences and manipulative tactics, anger is used for the purpose also of obtaining a particular result when people, these sort of people who aim at mastering, uh, directing anger and manipulating through anger, they would... Uh, create imbalances between people. For example, if someone wants to separate someone or if someone wants to create a conflict and then wants that person to, uh, even though that person was wrong, that person, the victim, will still come and say sorry and apologize. So that's a manipulation. So that is done by directing anger and we know all these psychological so manipulative tactics as gaslighting no they're all based on the same energetic principle where you're you become angry at someone to such a degree where they start feeling guilt they start questioning themselves whether they really wronged you or did anything and you may accuse them and experience anger to them, even if you are on the wrong side, but they will feel then guilt and shame. And so uh, that's why the main or the fundamental point for spiritual evolution after spiritual awakening and for the refinement is to understand the nature of your current feelings. A lot of these feelings are not yours. Most of them are not yours. You're dealing with guilt and shame and energies, of course, of your mothers and fathers and grandparents and ancestors. But at the same time, you may also deal with people who are close to you at the moment and who can manipulate you if you're very weak or if you have a weak spot for them 
for example, what does it mean to have a weak spot for them? It means to be open. So we'll continue with this uh, video uh, further for the members and hopefully you can contemplate uh, these areas, look at your life and see uh, maybe there will be a shift through this video transmission in you. Again, the transmission is not just some kind of someone sending you vibrations. It's your awareness breaking through, uh, awakening to a certain phenomena, start, lo starts looking at things differently. So thank you very much for that.